everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Jeannie and this is get this glowing and in today's video I am so excited for today's video because guess what we are gonna be doing a collab I'm gonna be doing a collab with my good friend makeup Queenie at her channel and my good friend Kimberly at her channel pretty over 50 and so if you have never seen well, I know that you have, but if you have never been to either one of these ladies' channels, you are in for such a treat. So, Makeup Queenie is, she is just awesome. She loves to do a lot of panning eyeshadow, which I don't do, and uh, she does a lot of um, collabs where they do a lot of palette roulette. I just think that that is so, so much fun to do those types of things. But she does a lot of collabs with um, those. There's like a, a gang of gals um, that, you know, do uh, makeup pan Makeup Palette Roulette, so that's a lot of fun. Then she does a fitness um, section where it's um, Get Fit with Queenie, which I love to watch. She's getting me motivated, so I love that. Um, but she is a lot of fun. She loves a lot of color, and she's just inspiring to me to work with color and not be you know, afraid to step out of my comfort zone. So I love that about her, but she loves makeup, and I love her. And then, of course, there's my good friend, you know, my collab buddy, uh, Kimberly, over on Pretty Over 50. And so, you know, we've done many collabs together, and you know, I adore her. And she has so many great ideas about so many things in life. And she is just absolutely wonderful. Well, Elf has come out with three makeup palettes for the holidays. They've come out with a sugar, spice, everything nice. And so I think that this one is, um, so this one's the spice. I'm doing the spicy. Um, I think this one is the sugar or the nice. I don't know. <laughs> this is Kimberly's. <laughs> this is Kimberly's palette. Kimberly's doing the look on this one. But you know me, I just want them all. And so <laughs> they had a deal where if you like bought one, you could get one half price. Well, you know I had to. I was really kind of happy that I got this one because I have never done, can you believe this? I've never done a true sunset eye. Like, I know, where have I been? But I really haven't. And this palette here, this palette reminds me of a cross. So look at this. This is $10 and this blends out so well. I was really, really shocked. So this palette right here, it has, so here's like three of the shades that's in this. This is a cross. And I'll tell you why I feel like it's a cross because it's got like these two dark browns right here. It's got this lighter dark brown, then it's got this brown over here that's got a plum undertone to it. Okay, so the browns right there really remind, because it's got those browns, it really reminds me of the Natasha Denona Sunset palette because the Sunset palette, you know, has that dark brown in it. But because it's got this shade right here, that is this beautiful, beautiful kind of azalea shade in it, then that reminds me of this shade right here, which is her in her Sunrise palette that is called Aster. And then also it reminds me of this kind of duochrome shift called Awakening. So the Aster shade from the Natasha Denona palette is right here. This is the Natasha Denona palette. This is the e.l.f. palette. So this is the look that I created with the e.l.f. palette. I am really excited about it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to see how I created 
this look using a full face of e.l.f. products except for the lipstick then just keep watching we're getting into it right now each one of us have a different palette a $10 palette in the holiday collection so I will have each of their channels linked below along with their video linked below so please don't forget to hop on over and see their video and subscribe to their channel give their video a like share it with somebody that might like it and subscribe to their channel guys they're awesome channels and you're not going to want to miss the videos that they're putting out and i am just going to go in with this elf putty primer there are three holiday palettes i love them all three i bought the one that because i love them all kimberly she <laughs> um she is more of a lipstick fiend than a eyeshadow palette fiend <laughs> So, of course, I always let her pick because I'm just like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, anyway, so this is the one um, that I ended up getting. And this is, um, I don't know if they each have different names. But this is the one that reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona Sunset palette which I do not have there's three palettes in their holiday collection they are ten dollars ten dollars for these palettes and um, these are a uh, 15 pan palette let me just swatch a couple of the shades here I'm getting pretty good pigment off of this yellow just for one swatch and then there's also a really pretty plummy shade in here. I'm really excited for this shade as well. So this is definitely a sunset palette. I really have never done a sunset look. So I'm going to try that today. Um, but first, I'm going to go in with, I picked up the L Foundation. And this is called the Flawless Finish Foundation. It comes in a nice glass bottle with a pump. And hey, Estee Lauder Double Wear can't say that, people. The shade is called Vanilla, and it says that it is for um, light with golden undertones. Right there on the package, it tells you light with golden undertones. At least it tells you right there who the shade is made for. This definitely has a smell. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. sponge. I like it, I don't love it, definitely not in love with it. I would much rather use something a little bit more dewy, but I think that if you had a normal to oily skin, you would really, really like this one, and it does give you very good coverage. And if you do have dry skin and you're gonna use it, then just keep applying layers of some type of a dewy hydrating setting mist and the setting mist that I like the best in cases like this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. Let's go ahead and get into um, warming up the skin and I have Forever Sun Kissed is the bronzer by e.l.f. that I'll be using today. I'm just gonna uh, tap into that. It's not, it doesn't have any redness to it. It's a very good color for just a little tinge of a color. And in the winter time, you know, you're not getting much color, so it has a more believable color to it. It, um, it just kind of warms up your foundation just a little bit, but it's not giving you too much color. So it's just kind of sculpting in your cheekbone just a little bit. So I definitely like this, especially in the wintertime. Then I have a really pretty, um, this is called Always Rosy from e.l.f. And it's just a really pretty blush and I really like it. And this is the color. And so I'm just going to tap into that. I think I'm going to use this bigger complexion brush. By using this on my blush brush, 
there's going to be a little tinge of that blush left behind. And whenever I go in with my setting powder, I'm hoping that it's going to make a little bit of that rosiness that I'm so in love with from my By Terry Hyaluronic Powder in Rosy Light. So let me show you what I mean. I have this powder, this new powder, from e.l.f. and it's called the Halo Glow Setting Powder. And this powder kind of reminds me a little bit of the one that I talk about from Flower Beauty that is so hard to get your hands on because it has a little bit, let me swatch it for you and see if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell, but it has just a little bit of a nice glow to it, but it doesn't have any glitter or anything like that, but it's just a really pretty powder. And so since I have a little bit of that blush in this brush, just kind of hanging out, I just thought it might be nice on this powder to have kind of, maybe it, it'll kind of create a little bit of that rosy glow. And let's try now this um, e.l.f. Um, white gold this is what this looks like. It's called White Gold, and this is a highlighter. So let's get our e.l.f. highlighting brush, and we'll just go in and see how this is going to do. So this is a newer highlighting powder by e.l.f. I'm liking that pretty good. And the other thing that I can show you is the jelly highlighter, and it looks like this. Just apply a little bit of it on this side. Oh no, this is my jam right here. Oh, this is so good. And this is what I like. This is the way that I like for my highlighter to look. You could put a little bit of this, a little bit of moisturizer, and a little bit of your foundation and have something along the lines of the Hollywood Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. But yes, I love this. Let's add some to this side and just get our sides even. I'm going to be using the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil by e.l.f. and do my eyebrows real quick off camera. That was using two eyebrow products from e.l.f. The um, Ultra precise brow pencil and I also love using this is just in a clear wax it looks like this and it really kind of helps you get a soap brow effect and I really like that it just kind of helps you have more of a big natural bushy eyebrow effect let's try now um, the L all day stay eyeshadow primer so this is the first time that I will be using this. It has a light peach color to it. I'm more of a put concealer on your lids and put down a shadow. And so today I'm going to go in um, all over the lids. I'm just going to put down this color shadow right here. I'm going to use this Sigma E35 tapered blending and I'm using my... Oh, what is this? My uh, Veramona Color Switch from Sephora. You can get these mini Veramonas. Yeah, it's called a, it's from the Sephora. Yeah, it has Sephora on it, but it's called a mini Color Switch by Veramona. And I like these very much, so I usually pick them up at Sephora. This color is very, very pigmented. Wow. I really wasn't expecting that. I just kind of thought it was going to be kind of putty colored and it is really pigmented. Just doesn't look like it's going to be that much color coming off of that. So let's see what it looks like when you swatch it. Yeah, this is what it looks like whenever you swatch it. So I guess maybe, but like sometimes 
you just cannot tell by swatching something like you know sometimes swatches are great if you don't have time to do an eye look and you know like I, I'll do swatches whenever I'm running through a makeup haul if I'm filming a makeup haul I'll do swatches just to let you see what the colors look like out of the pan but that's a beautiful color I think I really like this color so now that I've got that pretty much laid down all over the lid and where I'm wanting it to go, I'm just going to get a clean brush. I'm supposed to be getting in my Refer Pledge brushes. In November, they're supposed to ship if you pledged on Kickstarter. I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some of this underneath my eyes and just blend those together. I'm just going to smoke this out and so I'm going to use this elf blending brush for that because I think it's a pretty good shape for that. Okay so now we are going to go in with this bright yellow color. So that is this color right here and we are going to start getting into this sunset look. And I'm just going to put that right into the crease and kind of up here on my orbital bone. And I actually kind of like this color because it's not too overpowering, but yet you can still see that, hey, you know, she is using a yellow color, which is kind of a nice way to kind of go in on a sunset eye. And I'm going to go in and use some of this camo concealer with this little bitty um, small smudge brush and I'm going to cut this crease and I'm just going to go with about where I think that that ought to be. I'll never be successful if I don't try, right? Okay, so that's what I got so far. Now I'm going to go in again. I'm going to go in pretty heavy with this yellow. And I'm gonna spray me some of this Makeup Forever setting spray. See if that'll help. Maybe not. And then I'm gonna go in with this purple color right here that is this really pretty right here. I'm going to get some brighter purple and I'm going to start blending that and then I'm going to go back to that brush and I am going to put some of this color. So I just went in with this purple color and I'm going to go in with this color towards the outer edge. Spray my brush. So I think that this palette actually has some really good shades for doing a beautiful like even where to work sunset eye like I can easily wear this look to work and it's just gorgeous once I get it blended in I think it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous um, I have got my makeup finished and I have to say that um, I did add a little bit I'm gonna come in and let you see I did add just a little bit um, let's see if I can point that out to you let's see just a little bit right here this shade right here um, I just felt like that the look needed just a little bit of some kind of an extra pop to bring out a more of a sun set look than what I had in the palette. I What I felt like that this palette was lacking was I needed a deeper, like if this shade right here had have been a, a, a shimmer shade, I think that it would have been just gorgeous. Or maybe, you know, this shade had have been a shimmer shade, this would have been gorgeous. Um, but I felt like that I needed that shade um, for a popping lid shade. So I reached into the So Jaded palette and I got um, the shade Alexandrite and I just put just a little bit of this shade on top of that. 
And so um, then, and I mean the very smallest amount. So depending upon, I guess, you know, did it have to have that? Um, maybe not, but I do think that it made a beautiful look that I probably, I just really felt like that had I have went with more of the orange side of the sunset, I wouldn't have needed it because I could have really played up this shade right here. So if I would have went with more of the orange and evaluated the palette and went with this in the crease, this on the main lid, and this on the inner corner instead of the yellow, I think it would have looked a lot better in retrospect. So I think that I, I really should try that look next with this palette. But I'm really quite excited about this palette. I think that it is a good palette for $10. I'm really happy and pleased with the palette. I think that the shades blended out well. I really think that this shade, the, the shimmers are really, really the stars here. You've got this beautiful kind of coppery orangey shade you've got this beautiful beautiful lilac shade i think that it's just an absolute gorgeous gorgeous palette so again here are three of those shimmer shades that are just really really beautiful i think that this shade um is a cross between and maybe Maybe not so much the Sunset palette, but now that, you know, the more I'm looking at it with this shade right here, this this lilac -y shade, I'm thinking maybe it's more that it's the dupe for the Sunrise palette. Because of all of the lilac -y shimmers, maybe it's more of a play towards the, the shade Aster and the shade Awakening that it's really playing towards. You'll have to let me know what you think. But then, you know, it's kind of almost a cross between the two because then you've also got these browns in here that are in the Sunset palette. So, yeah, I, you know, I think it's kind of a cross um, between a dupe for the Sunrise and a dupe for the Sunset. So you'll have to put some comments below. I would definitely not um, recommend the e.l.f. foundation and that's because I have dry skin. Outside of that though, I am loving all of the products that I've used including the brushes. I think e.l.f. makes great quality brushes for the price. They've got some really nice holiday sets on brushes. The lippy that I used today um, is a new lippy um, from and this is something that is not Elf. It's from Christian Audette. I'm just absolutely in love with this right now. This is called Where's My Limo? <laughs> Where is my limo? <laughs> just a nice mauvey rose type of a shade. I just happen to love it. Um, it's a little bit deeper um, as we go into winter. You know, I have a lot of nudes that are very very light and this one gives just a little bit of depth and a little bit of uh, to it and I just um yeah I think that it's a great color um my lashes are Huda in the style Samantha I only buy the Huda when I get them on sale. They are rather expensive. Naked Drama Tool are just as gorgeous. I hope that you liked today's video. I hope that you like the looks um, that we've all put together for you over these um, very nice but yet inexpensive drugstore palettes for $10 on the, if you can't find them in store, you can always find them on the e.l.f. website. Um, like I said, they are $10. Don't forget to go over and check out my friends Makeup Queenie and my good friend Kimberly over at Pretty Over 50. And they're videos as well as their channels are going to be linked down below. I will have all of them um, 
linked for you in my description box as well as they have been in the iCards as well during the video. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to their channels, I am going to have their channels linked at the end and you can just smash their face as well as smash mine and <laughs> you can subscribe to their channels as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you. Also, if you are from Makeup Queenie's channel or Kimberly's channel, hi, my name is Jean and we just do everything over here for the mature woman and we just have a ball. I do a lot of makeup try-ons, reviews on makeup. I try really, <laughs> I try really hard to do some uh, fashion hauls and usually um, I run out of batteries. <laughs> during the middle of them, but I have bought a new battery for my camera. Um, I also do something called palette tune trivia. So in my car vlog, so if you ever see a car vlog, usually there's a giveaway going on associated with that. Um, but palette tune trivia is a little game I play with my subscribers and so that's usually fun. But anyway, my name's Jeannie and I would love to have you stick around and subscribe to my channel as well. Also, if you like this video, you can and give it a big thumbs up. That would really help my channel. If you do subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit the post notification bell and that way YouTube will remind you when I post new content to my channel. And I hope that today finds you happy, healthy, and well. And until next time, smooches everybody. Bye bye for now.